Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I'm going to unbox the Flipper Zero to show you what's inside the box and what to expect. So on the outside of the box it kind of tells you just stuff about the actual flipper. It tells you you get sub gigahertz RFID, NFC, I button, GPIO, infrared, and a bunch of other things. Of course it gives you all the socials about stuff that you can learn about the flipper, but let's just open this up. It's nice to use a cardboard box so you can just toss this if you really wanted to. Obviously I'm going to keep it. But let's cut this open. Like I said, still gives you all this information on the box, like how to update the firmware, manual, and source code, all the good stuff. And the first thing we get is a sticker, which is kind of cool, and I'm probably never going to use it. Then you get a quick start guide that explains what you need to do to update the firmware, put the SD card in, all that good stuff. We get this little USB-C cable, which is kind of cheap, but it only supports USB 2.0, or probably even slower, so it's not that big of a deal. And here's the flipper. Let's power this on, which just kind of immediately powers on. It's pretty cool. And my flipper is called Axiad, or Axiad, I'm not really sure. But this is a short little introduction. You can put a memory card in there so you can use all the other stuff. But on the top we get 18 GPIO pins. Bottom is where the SD card slot goes. The right side is a USB-C port. Then a little lanyard area. We get the infrared on the left side and then GPIO 17. And I think that's where the I button goes. And yeah, that's pretty much what you get. Obviously there's a lot to learn and I have to learn that. So maybe I'll do a video in the future, but hopefully you enjoy this video. And as always, thanks for watching.